Aquarius. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from March 29th to April 4th. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aquarius, I'm going to be looking at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to be clarifying the cards and pulling some advice. All right, so your challenge for this week, Aquarius, is the temperance. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay, so your challenge this week has a lot to do with patience, divine timing, things coming in when they're supposed to come in, not forcing a situation, okay? We're going to clarify the temperance here. Some of you are even dealing with Sagittarius here. We're going to clarify and see what the message is here for you moving forward. In the recent past, we have the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Swords, okay? I feel like in the past, there was a beautiful, happy, loving connection here, okay? For some of you, you even felt at some point like, wow, I feel complete. I feel complete in this situation. I feel like I'm really happy in this situation. But then something turned, something changed, okay? Something significantly changed here. Um, I'm really getting that someone here kind of took what they needed and left, okay? You know, it's like, wow, we built such a beautiful home together. We built such a beautiful family, relationship, uh, business. You know, we built something here very great. And it's like, Somebody does one thing to tear that all down in the past is what I'm getting, okay? In the present moment, Aquarius, you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, very strong here, okay? Um, I see you working on something here. I see you working on something, and I also feel like there is possibly something here that you're juggling, Okay, you're juggling. Maybe you're juggling um, a relationship and a work situation. Okay, there's that that may be happening here. I'm also getting um, a possibility here of someone saying to you, you know, you have to choose. This could be you saying this or it could be your person saying this. Okay, I'm getting here that someone here has to make a choice. Okay, there's something here with a choice because there's two big options here, two major options in the present moment. We're going to clarify this and see what this is all about. In the near future, you have the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Hermit. Lots of confusion in the near future, okay? Not, not only am I getting confusion, I'm getting a lot of options. Someone here has a lot of options in the near future, and they're thinking about this situation. They're thinking about, hmm, do I really, really want to make this work again? Do I really want to try this again? There's something about trying something here again. Okay, we're going to see. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, uh, Aquarius, is Ace of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is acknowledging, um, someone here, excuse me, is acknowledging why things haven't been working between you and them. There's also something about someone here no longer being interested in conflict, and I do see someone coming back. But when they come back, do they give you the clarity that you truly seek? It's saying that they don't, but they still come back, okay? We're going to see why this is when we clarify. So let's see, Aquarius, what is going on for you? So the first card that I'm going to clarify for you, Aquarius, is your challenge for this week, okay? Your challenge for this week, which is the temperance.
right, so the temperance is clarified by the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Someone here wants to come back, okay? They want to reunite. They want to celebrate all that you've accomplished with them. Something's telling me it is a possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? Whoever this is that's coming into your life, I feel like it's a it's a significant person. It's someone who's really going to bring a lot of stability. There's a very stable energy that's coming in here. I see you celebrating, okay? Um, you're celebrating because you've been very patient or you will be very patient after watching this because you are realizing that through patience, Aquarius, that's when you get what you want, okay? You don't necessarily get, get what you want when you want it, but if you have patience and you're able to endure um, as a fixed sign of the Zodiac, really good things can come in here for you okay so i do see someone coming in here and bringing you a lot of happiness this is your challenge is to be patient and patiently wait for this scenario to unfold all right so let's talk about the recent past i'm gonna i'm gonna clarify the seven of swords right away i want to get into the nitty-gritty of the situation what is the seven of swords about Okay, so the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Wow, someone here broke your heart in the past. Someone that you were really connected to, Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone here disappointed you in the past because your vision um, in the past, Aquarius, was this. This is my soulmate. This is the person I'm supposed to be with. This is the person that I'm going to love for the rest of my life. You know, rainbows, um, lollipops, and gumdrops is what I'm getting here in the past. And that this person disappointed you. They disappointed you in the past here with the Three of Swords, okay? But I also feel like there's something about you not allowing this situation to get you down for too long, okay, in the past. So this is what I'm getting in the past. Let's talk about the present moment for you, okay? In the present moment, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Moon, okay? Um, there's something here that you may not completely understand. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces here. You may not completely understand the situation, but I do see you working on it in secret, okay? You're working on a situation to really bring back balance into this connection and to really focus on building something with this person. There's something about you wanting to build something with this person, and you're hoping that by doing this, it's really going to either bring balance back into the connection or it's going to um, bring about an ability for this person to make a decision. There's something here about a decision, okay? Uh, someone here is juggling two options, okay? I don't know if this is your person doing this or you're doing this, but someone here is juggling two options. Let me just clarify the two of pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords, okay? You want truth, okay, in the present moment when it comes to this person. There's someone here that's juggling two options. Perhaps someone is juggling you and someone else, okay? Um, you're healing. You're healing from this situation in the present moment because for some of you, this person... It's kind of like, and I don't feel like this person's hiding it, hiding it from you. They're making it very clear that they have other priorities or other things that they need to do. But there's also someone here that's showing up. And I don't feel like this is the same person. I feel like it's a different person. And while you're healing and going through this healing process, for some of you, you felt at some point, maybe even in the present moment, you feel like you're just an option. You're just one option of many. 
okay, when it comes to someone. Let me clarify the King of Wands. Someone here shows up, fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So the King of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Magician. Whoever this is, okay, there's someone here that's waiting on you. There's someone here that's waiting on you, okay? While you're sitting and moping around, and I have to be very honest with you, Aquarius, you all know my readings are very, very, very candid, okay? Um, while you're sitting around moping around about someone who just treats you like an option, here comes a King, King of Wands. Okay, someone who's worth your energy and worth your time. This is someone who's waiting on you and you keep, you, you're either making this person wait. Okay, you've manifested this person, by the way, magician, you manifested it, you created it. This is what you've been doing in the present moment. You've been manifesting, creating and working on things that you want with your mind. Okay, you want someone who's going to work with you. You want someone who's going to equally give and take um, from you. Okay, you want someone who's going to give you that emotional love and support. So when that person does show up and they're communicating and talking to you, why are you sitting in this energy of, of moping around and trying to get truth from someone who's already kind of given you the truth already? they've let you know what it is you're just an option what do you want you're focusing on the wrong energy here in the present moment okay you need to be focusing on what you manifested and what you created for yourself okay whether this is happening currently or it will happen uh for some of you the time the timing varies okay so this is what i'm seeing in the present moment it's a very clear message um we're going to talk about the near future now okay so the seven of cups options options you got options okay um this could be very confusing all right because i mean you know everything looks shiny everything looks good um let me clarify the seven of cups let me clarify the seven of cups tell me about the options here for Okay, so the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, the Death, and the Lovers. Are you willing to end something here that seems very stable? A lot of you aren't. This is your comfort zone. This is why a lot of you are still focused on someone who just create, who just acts as if you're just an option, okay? Um, whoever this is, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they're confused or they have a lot of options. They got a lot going on, but you are really connected to this person because this is someone who brings you a lot of stability in your life. This is someone that you are in love with. But at the same time, there are also signals and signs that something here needs to come to an end because you are not satisfied. You're not satisfied with, with this situation here. Even though you have a lot of love for this person some of you even have a home with this person or you know you, there's just some sort of stability here it could be a Scorpio Aquarius another Aquarius it could be a Gemini here I have Aries as well too Leo Virgo okay so in the near future I see you contemplating possibly putting an end to something because of the amount of confusion even though there's stability there and there's a lot of love there's not there's not enough emotional fulfillment there for you you need something more Okay, so let me clarify the hermit because someone here ends up being in their head. They, they're, and there's an energy here of somebody being very reclusive in the near future. Let's see why. What is this hermit about? So the Hermit is clarified by the Six of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. I definitely feel like this is possibly your person, okay? Um, there's this energy here of somebody wanting to come back in the near future, okay? Because for many of you, you might, you may, okay? And again, free will is always at play here. You may decide to close something out because there's not enough emotional fulfillment. There's not enough emotional fulfillment, okay? And when you start to let go of this situation, which is the death and the lovers here, okay, in the near future, someone here starts to energetically feel you departing or disconnecting here, okay? And what this leads to is someone here wanting to work on things, somebody really wanting to not completely give up on this situation. The problem is, is that even though this person does come back, 
Aquarius, don't expect to get clarity from them. Don't expect it because this is what you, you know, what you don't see coming. Ace of Swords in reverse anyways. Them leaving you in this place of, well, who am I to you? What am I to you? They come back. They're not giving you the clarity that you want though. Okay. So here's the thing, you know, there's been conflict in the past, but I don't see this person coming back um, to be in conflict with you. I just see this person coming back and, you know, taking up your energy and time in your space, but they're not acting. They're not doing anything. They're not giving you the clarity that you need. Do you really want that? Or do you want to be in a situation where you are the one, you know, you're the one that deserves to be loved and not be treated as an option. Okay. So it's a very, very hard decision to make, of course, but this is what I'm seeing for you. Okay. Somebody kind of being there, but not taking action or giving you the clarity that you want. So let's um, get some advice for you, Aquarius. Let's get some advice for you. Not a lot of you are going to like the advice, but I'll tell you what the cards have to say, okay? So your advice here is the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Death. What is it that you need to end in your life that's not serving you anymore? What is it that you need to completely end here? What is it that you need to completely um, transform in your life? A lot of the readings that I've been doing for the last um, few weeks has been talking about endings, okay? A lot of these endings are happening, but you need to recognize them. Yes, it's painful. Yes, it's it hurts. But a lot of you want this. You want that king of pentacles. You want that stability. You want it all. The only way you could have it all, Aquarius, is if you actually transform something significant in your life that you know needs to transform and change. It is going to be painful. It's not going to be easy being in this place. It hasn't been for quite some time since November. It's been difficult. But there's something here that you are being called to transform in order for you to actually receive the stability that you seek in your life. Okay, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.